Hey everybody and welcome to this very special episode of Adventures with Peps. It's going to be the last one with my Razer Mini microphone. I now have a new setup, as you can guess from this cable that I have on the bench. It is a XLR microphone setup, so I have my cable. I have my Voxcaster 1, which we are going to open in a minute. And then I also have my, if I can get it in the screen, my Wave DX by Elgato. Now, I have never had a dynamic vocal microphone, so we are going to have a look at the pieces. I'm going to try and set it up, and we will see if there's a difference between the new microphone and the one that I'm currently talking on. So, before we can do any of that, let's crack it open. Now, as mentioned, I just bought what I was told to buy, and I'll drop links to Amazon for all the pieces. You can see this is Amazon Basic. If you guys have any advice on upgrades or what I should be looking for, or if I'm doing something wrong, just let me know in the comments. I will take any and all advice. So this is the Voxcaster one. Supposedly it lets you auto gain, easy start, which is what I need. Mute whenever I want. Enhance my voice. I can connect. What? XLR microphones, good start. Headphones, speaker, camera, and smartphones. It also has some software. Let's crack open the box. There is a lot of packaging. Look at that. We have a bag that is sellotaped up. It's a uh, Safely open this. I don't want to break anything. But yeah, I will need all the advice I can get with this. Like I mentioned, first time having one of these. I am learning everything as I go, mostly off YouTube. And there we go, that is the panel. I guess this is the gain control. You can set it to speaker, headphones. Combination thereof, mute button, the enhance, a little, got what that was meant to be, is it the gain button? Has a stone pebbly effect on it, it is a focus right. Looks pretty nice, we got the piece of plastic that I can peel off in a minute. Power button, USB-C, guess a lock, uh, something to do with my camera, audio outputs, so speakers, a phone output and obviously the XLR. So there's that. That's step one. Step one of many. We then got all the instructions that I'm gonna have to read through. I can get the software is online, easy start, and there should be a USB cord in here somewhere. It is wedged in there. It is your standard USB. C to a USB normal. We'll deal with that in a little bit. I think that is that's the pretty thing. We can get rid of this. Put this to the side. Now the exciting bit. The Elgato. Now I wasn't sure. I was I was gonna get the road mic. Seems to be the one that a lot of people like. This went on sale. It went, it dropped a lot, so it was too good to pass up. So we've gone with it. Hopefully I've made the right choice. We have the quick start guide. Let's see how quick it is. Mount it, plug it in, speak. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is very easy. What does it have? Tailored for your voice. Record exceptionally detailed vocals with prominent lows and natural clarity. That's kind of what I'm after. I feel like I sound very muffled when I'm talking through my razor. I'm not entirely sure if it's like I'm doing wrong or the setup. Maybe this microphone's great. For those interested, I am not getting rid of the razor mic. I'm hoping to play more games with my partner and. She needs her own mic if she's going to talk. 
especially when playing board games. I'd like to know what she's thinking as she's making her moves. I feel having a dual mic set up is going to be quite helpful for that. That's a huge amount of packaging, guys. Luckily, it's all cardboard and can be recycled, but that is just empty. The microphone takes up this much space. We could have had the box half the size. That's very stupid of Elgato. We then have the important safety instructions. And once again, a little bag. So we got a sticker. What is this? Environmentally friendly plastic, but 100% biodegradable. So they do that and then they chuck a load of cardboard in. This is heavy. Feels like it's all metal, but it sounds a little plasticky. So I think it's metal. Got a nice metal. A uh, plastic button there. Your standard attachment. Hopefully that's going to fit where I plan on having this microphone. And speaking to this end. I assume you take the plastic off. Otherwise you're not speaking into anything. Now, this is on tight. What the? What did they stick this down with? Right, there we go. And this simply must plug in like so. And then the other end is going to plug into the Vox caster. So I'm going to play around and try and get this set up and connected to my OBS. And hopefully when I come back, I will be talking through this Elgato setup. Catch you in a minute. Okay, we are back. I am recording just straight off the microphone with the same settings that my Razer Siren has. And I really like it. Now, I do need something like one of these. I forget what it's called. It stops vibrations, uh, muffles the table banging at the moment. It doesn't have it, so you're going to hear the table banging whenever I do that. But ultimately, I do like the sound on this. I think it is really nice. It looks nice. feels like a proper setup. I want to get an arm for it. Maybe I'll get one for my birthday, but I can mess around with the gain on this focus, right? I'm not going to treat you to that because it just pumps up the volume and lowers the volume. But ultimately, I have a lot more control now than I ever did before. And I might have to really tweak with my settings to get this right. But for now, I am happy. I am loving this setup. So, as always, cheers for watching and catch you in the next video soon. Bye-bye.